know I count up by the twos. Damn, you gon' count it by the twos. Rubber certified. First, you gotta get approved. You don't. I gotta get approved. Man, Streets Proves it TV, the mayor. We left from the north side. You got my boy C Rock right here. What's happening, everybody? Shit, I'm good. I'm good. All right. And let me start off with how do you get your day bitch to C Rock? Um, actually, that's uh, it, it was my it was my set name. Uh, from it was my hood name, you know, because I'm uh, affiliated, you know, and uh, I guess you could say I kind of went through metamorphosis because. Uh, the way I was and stuff back in the day, I was kind of rowdy. And uh, because uh, my predecessors uh, was uh, solid, like uh, Mr. J-Rock, uh, I was crazy C back in the day. And so after I got my stripes, then it was like I upgraded from Hot Rod to Ronimus Prime, you know, if, if you understand, you know, those, those metaphors. That's what's up. Can you tell me where you're from and what hood you're from? Um, I was born here in Amarillo. My people weren't from here. Um, my mother came through here to visit some of my relatives and ended up having me here. And uh, what am I affiliated with? Uh, well, I mean, you know, you know what that is. You know, we we don't talk about it. You know that I was from uh, La Uva Calle. Um, I grew up some of everywhere, you know, so, you know, I done got a chance to see, you know, plenty of places and how they move in their cities, different projects, hoods, neighborhoods, whatnot, you know, good environments as well. What's up? You know, we have a lot of people, street people, watching this channel. One, how you, is it safe out here or you gotta keep it, you gotta have a strap to, you gotta get a strap. I mean, it depends on what you're doing and who you affiliate yourself with. I mean, that's 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 always been the thing, you know. If you associate yourself with uh, reckless suckers, then you know you'll meet a quick demise in one way or the other, uh, or the other whether it's in the graveyard or the, uh, the penitentiary system, you know. But strap. Uh, Sometimes I gotta think that if I gotta take my burner with me and stuff, maybe I don't need to be there. You know what I'm saying? You know? So, yeah, you know, it's rowdy in the streets. You got knuckleheads. You've always had knuckleheads with something to prove, you know, um, chip on their shoulders and stuff. But, you know, if you're not really functioning with them like that, <clears throat> you know, um, you don't have to too much worry about, you know, what they doing. You know, go ahead. Yeah, man. How do you feel about the gang stuff around here? Me and my kind, we don't, we, we, it's like we went through the bashing of it before it was something that was cool. We, we, we got strapped for it, got flogged for it, you know, and people couldn't understand, you know, it was a defense mechanism for us. Now it's like a, uh, some kind of trend of fad or something, you know, like, you know, like with some of the music, you know, um, it's gotten away from what the tradition of it was. It, I can't take any of it serious, just being real with you. I don't respect, I can't respect it. If you don't know your predecessors, the cast that came before you did, you know, and you can't tell somebody where they're set, where that's located and stuff. You can't really name nobody and you know, it just, you woke up overnight and you start claiming something and can't nobody, you know, no, we, we don't respect that. Just being real with you, you know. I x-ray vision that shit, it's bullshit. Hey, that's what's up. Uh, let me switch it over. How you, I know you're affiliated with the Grape Street, can you, uh, how are you affiliated with it? Um, well, actually, a lot of people don't know um, that know me. They don't understand that even for the grape thing, even before I ever went out to California, my father was a gangster. And that's how he grew me because I didn't grow up here in Amarillo. You know, bits and pieces of my life was given here to Amarillo. But my father was a gangster. 
And so we used to go out to California, but eventually California ended up finding me here in the 80s. And so uh, I was always me. It didn't, take, it didn't take a game to make me me. I was this way, and people didn't know me would tell you I was this way, even before gang affiliation. My father was a gangster before I ever even heard of a gang. He got killed early. My, my father got gunned down in front of me when I was six years old. So, you know, in the 80s, I mean, like us, as far as great, um, it, wouldn't, it, it wasn't that many of us at one time because um, cats hadn't started coming out here to California like that or coming from Denver, Colorado like that. And um, when crack, the crack e epidemic really started hitting Amarillo is when other people from around the nation that was already accelerated in the gang shit started coming in. And all it did was promote the ideal to have other cats choose up who was once friends. And they chose one way or the other and I, I made enemies of guys that was cool with me. We never had a problem. But because of their ideal versus mine, it was gunfire, you know? And compared to now, this is playful to us because it was violent back then. And it was very violent, you know? Um, going to funerals, you know, twice a month and, you know, six times a year, you know, I mean, versus, you know, I mean, for the population of people here in Amarillo. You know, it's not big, you know, whenever you got things going down in Chirac and still going down in L.A. and, you know, um, New York and, you know, the bigger metropolises, Houston, Dallas, you know. Um, but for Amarillo, for the populace of people to be, you know, barely 200,000 people, you know, that's something big, you know, for people to be getting gunned down and, you know, losing their life, you know. You know, and I'm just talking about my friends, the funerals. I'm not talking about, period, the funerals of people that was... And so, yeah, man, it was rowdy, man. It was gun smoke. It was gun smoke, man. They got it easy now. They really got it easy as cats that took the lashing for it. And I hope that I hope the, the guys... I tell my sons that, you know, I never wanted them to be gang affiliated. My father wanted me to be just like him, which he was gangster, and gangster killed him. You know, straight up. I didn't want that for my sons for everything that I went through. I didn't want my boys to be going through that shit. So, you know, I try to, with my nephews, adopted, blood, whatever, whatever, you know, try to push them away from the gang shit, man. Or even picking up a crack sack, you know, but I can't knock nobody for what they do because I done something that the older people told me, you know, that was detrimental. But I had to do it. I'm notice of 10 kids. So, what is the difference between California gangs and Texas gangs. Oh man. I mean, depending on where you at, you know, um, you know, not taking nothing away from from um, Texas in no kind of form or fashion because I love Texas, you know, um, just like I do Cali. Um, but out in you can you can relax you can relax here, you can relax here, and out in California, man, you can't relax. You can't relax, I mean, depending on where you live at. And it's the same way in Texas. It depends on where you live at. But every day, man, your head is on swivel, man. And people don't give a damn who you kin to. They don't give a damn about family names. They don't give a damn about your big homies, the work your homeboy put in. They trying to get your big homie and you and anybody akin to you that look like you or affiliated with you. So, you know, it's easier here, and that's why I believe that people had started coming out this way and stuff, you know, um, um, because it was a little bit easier here, you know, you can, you can come here and retire, you know, and kind of put things behind you in a sense. But, um, yeah, out in California, man, in L.A. and Diego and, and um, Compton, I mean, just, man, Watts, you know, I mean, it ain't, it ain't no you subject to get any moment type shit. You know, just being real, man. That's what's up. You know, Dipsy also just passed away like a month ago. And how you feel how it affected people? And do you feel like you gotta watch people close to you? I've always watched people close to me. I mean, the thing with Nipsey was, uh, 
it was a terrible it was a terrible thing because the cat you know he was on some positive shit and it wasn't just that he was trying to bring his his pe his the 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 group that he represented he was trying to bring you know he was trying to bring everybody with him and stuff and you know really I think that's the only way that we'll be able to get some type of uh, mutuality between you know what's truly important between um, you know th this best for you know gang affiliated people you know uh, is by having a common something that you know as as a base to be able to grow off of in unison together you know it's a fucked up shame you know that it take something catastrophic to be pending you know before people decide that they want to put aside their petty differences you know it takes something that's going to devastate all of humanity you know before we decide to pull together and be like man fuck that bullshit man shit man we all fix to die in this bitch now shit what kind of plan can we come up with so you know that's where that's at bro yeah I see, like, you and Nipsey have, like, a bunch of similarities because y'all both got, like, your own record, like, uh, record label and, like, you're trying to do your own stuff. You think you could do, like, same things like Nipsey's, like, trying to help, like, get the community around and stuff? Yeah, man, I love that. I mean, really, in a sense, that's what I, that's what I, I want to try to bring something to, you know, not just Amarillo, but the whole 806 that hadn't been, you know, yet. And I think that, you know, I want to glue the different walks of life of people together, you know, by giving them something that they can all enjoy, you know, together without having, without having to be worried about or weary about, you know, what's going to happen to them. Well, if I engage with those people, you know, they're subject to rob me, you know, and this is wealthier people or whatnot, or people that's never affiliated with people from the streets, you know, show them, hey, man, they just like you. The circumstances in which they come from is just different. You know, that's all it is. I mean, they just like you. I would like to bring something together for the for the youngsters and still give, you know, the, the adults something to do. Um, you know, I don't want to talk about every, all, all the things that I plan on doing because, you know, I mean, I can talk to them to myself or to my confidants or my partners and stuff and, and materialize it into reality. But I don't like to talk about the things that I'm working on, you know, until I get there to I'm like, all right, so this is what it looked like now. Yeah. Let me switch it up. I know you have your own record label with the Third Coast Production. Can you talk more about it? Well, I'm I'm actually my my entertainment is uh Royale One Entertainment. And uh, I'm uh, like uh, some of the other groups like TNO, like 806, you know, we was all up under the Third Coast umbrella, which I'm still good with all the guys, with uh, all, the, all the groups. Anybody that I've worked with, I'm still good with. But, you know, at the same time, if I'm trying to bring my dream alive, I got to start focusing on my dream, you know? That's what, hey, like, your record label, I know you mentioned that, you told me, like, you're like, like a collective, like the Migos. Like. Yes, Third Coast was, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, Third Coast, that's what it was, a uh, collective of, uh, like, uh, like I said, 806, TNO, um, Underdogs, uh, Eli got his, his group now, his, uh, label, uh, Tree Life, which, you know, I mean, um, they're doing their own things, and so, of course, I got to do my own thing, especially since I've graduated from school, I got more time to get on this and eat. I got more time to focus on, on this. Ver go ahead, go ahead. So, how long have you been rapping, and what influenced you to start rapping? Um, truly, bro, I've been rapping um, since I was young. But um, since I was an uh, introvert, you know, I never did. I've never been the type of, the, the loud type to just really want all the spotlight on me type. You know, um, it just came, some of the, the spotlight came natural with what I did. I would never, you know, even in the streets, I wasn't craving the, the, the credibility or nothing like that. It just came natural. Um, um, no, man, I'm just trying to, I'm just really trying to, I'm trying to put, put something together and stuff, man, build something, man. I mean, that's all. I'm trying to, I'm trying to pull some cash together, incorporate some things. Utilize some things toward not just my advantage, but you know the advantage of you know the, um, You know the other people and stuff, you know, and I'm not uh, 
I'm not picky unless they come up with bullshit. That's what's up. Can you describe your sound in music? Um, meaning like uh, the type of the the type of uh, uh, rap I do. Yeah, pretty much. Um, I guess you would call it intellectual gangster poetry. You know, something like that. You know, because um, intelligence is important. Always have been to me. You know, having some form of understanding, and uh, you know, gangster because of you know my lifestyle, what I've saw, what I've lived through. Poetry, beautiful, sad, hard, harsh, death, life, you know, so it's a mixture of all that right there, topical. And uh, who's your top rappers of all time? Um, I like, uh, of course I like, uh, I go back with like NWA, all the cats from NWA, um, and even the spinoffs from them, you know, uh, you know, the Snoops and, you know, without Dre, a lot of the other cats when, you know what I'm saying, I'm, you know, I dig a lot of West Coast. I can't say one, my my top rapper, because it's a lot of cats that, you know, I'm like, I like K. Reno, Scarface, UGK, MJG 8 Ball, you know, all of these type of cats. Younger cats, you know, uh, younger than myself is like Boosie. I like, um, um. Man, it's a, it's a variety of cats that, you know, I can respect, you know, just don't really live that life. You know what I'm saying? I mean, um, cats that, I, 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 I respect cats that tell the truth, you know, or, you know, hell, I respect that, man. I respect that, so. But the cats that I name, it's old school cats that go way back that I could, I could name too, man. Um, I've been performing for what? about four years, five years. Um, like I said, I was juggling school, my business. Um, let me see, I've been performing five years. Uh, my first cut that I dropped was back in 2013. Um, and really, I was only gonna do one cut until uh, the cats started coming out and asking me to do something else with them and stuff. I'm like, oh man, shit. Okay, okay, I can do it. So here I am like, I don't know. An album and another album and like three other albums projects that I'm working on you know so here I am that's what's that what's the what's the message you're trying to say through your music um first of all man I got banned from high school because you know of what I did back in high school um, I got caught with a gun in school in high school and uh, you know, that fucked my whole everything up. This is how me and you met. If I wouldn't have got caught up, you know, like I did way back in high school, me and you would have never met. Um, it took me all that time to come back to come and get a diploma from a junior college. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So um, I'm just trying to send a message that, you know, be honest. Be honest with yourself. Be honest with uh, people who, who support you. And... Uh, Shit, education is important, you know. I don't give a damn who said it ain't and stuff. I mean, I've never been too cool for school. Hell, I juggle school and hustle too. So, you know, learn something. Read. Don't be ashamed to read. Don't be ashamed to be, to have some smart about yourself. Hell, you could be the one to change this shit. That's the way I look at it. That's what's up. You know, everybody has haters. And how you necessarily deal with that? Like I said, I x-ray it. I mean, I've never had people to just really be on my side. I've always been an underdog because I've always been different. I was, I was grown before I was really grown because I'm notice of my mama's 10 kids. So I had to grow up early. I didn't get a chance to play with toys and shit like that. I don't know what that's like, you know. Um, I didn't get a chance to be a little boy. I had to grow, go straight into manhood when my father got killed when I was seven. And from there on out and stuff, uh, I thought I was honoring him by doing what he told me to do. When he told me when I was a boy, the first time I ever touched a handgun was when I grow up to be, be a gangster. I thought I was honoring the man until I had my own son. I was like, man, I don't want my son growing up and going through all that shit I went through. Hell, I didn't have nobody to support nothing I did, even when I was in sports. Because I was too raw. <laughs> so... What is your mission? I mean, what is your mission? Uh, mission in rap, and where do you see yourself going in, in several years from now? Um, 
projection wise in, in years, I would like to have uh, already accumulated all the components that I need to be successful um, as well as uh, there's people coming after me. It's my son, my son is cold. My son is, my son is cold. And um, you know, there's people coming behind me. I wanna set the stage for them. That's, what, that's why, you know, I, if I can use my street credibility, be like, well, you know, shit, I know Cash is out here in the streets, man. He's genuine, he's certified, you know? Well then, now my sons is doing this thing and stuff and I'm trying to keep them away from the shit that I've been involved in and stuff by walking a different walk and doing something different and stuff, I, I want my sons to be able to take over where I leave off and I just play the background and I write for cats and you know, set up and you know, I do um, shoot the videos and st stuff of that nature. You know, get them, get them gigs, you know, spots to do and you know, connect the dots, you know, with lines, visible lines. You know, that's what I'm trying to do, man. Send a good message and show people that if I can if I can go and do something, if you know my story, if I can take my ass back and get some things done, it's never too late for, you know, people my age that was doing foolish shit. So, how do you feel about the current state of rap and hip hop? And with the mumble rap currently going on and the streaming becoming more popular? Mm. I don't even listen to none of that shit. I'm just being real with you, man. Um, I don't, I don't, I, it, it, some of it is just highly ridiculous to me because uh, it's just ridiculous to me, man. I mean, I'm, I'm, I respect the predecessors. I respect, you know, the, the cats that came, even when you go way back to when rap first started. Yeah, it deviated a little bit and stuff, but goddamn, it's done deviated so far. You know, I mean, the cast, it came way before I did and stuff. You know, at least, you know, they had a story to tell that made sense. You know, and I think that's what a lot of it is missing and shit. It's uh, having people, it's encouraging the other generations to do ridiculous, stupid, retarded shit. Or take take the, take off the retarded, mentally challenging shit. You know what I'm saying? You think music is just playing ignorant? Uh... Not all, because, I mean, it's like, it's too many bandwagon riders. It's like, because he's doing it, man, come up with your own shit. Do your own style. You know what I'm saying? I mean, hell, do your own thing. All this, it's just too much bandwagon. I mean, it's a, it's a wonder a lot of these cats ain't pregnant. You know, they ride so much jock, you know, I mean, the new thing and stuff, man. And I can't knock it, you know, I mean, if that's what they want to do. But, uh, yeah, man, I don't vibe with that shit. I don't vibe with it, man. And uh, I can't understand some of the shit, you know. Um, to each his own, but, you know, I'm going to keep it authentic. That's what's up. You got any crazy stories, stories since you've been rapping? <laughs> what, do you, what do you mean when you, when you ask me crazy, man? Like in shows and other stuff. Um, I mean, the stuff you've been through, crazy experiences, that kind of stuff. No, I mean, I hadn't had no as far as funk or you know, I hadn't got to the le level of being able to, you know, tell you that you know of some crazy, you know, uh, shit. You know, uh, I haven't got to that to that, you know, to that. Uh, Ozzy Osbourne type level yet, you know what I'm saying, that rock star type level to where I got, you know, uh, uh, um, some stories like that. I can tell you we got stuck one time, we went to a show out of town and stuff, and um, it was crazy, man, because uh, when we went in the Escalade, and I'm glad I didn't take the other truck because this one is 4x4 four four and stuff, and it started raining out of nowhere, flooding and shit, man, and we couldn't even see the street. And, uh, bro, we had to fight. I had to keep fighting with the truck for, like, I don't know, like, 45 minutes to an hour. And the truck was coming down the street sideways. And then we went and we turned off on another street. Same thing and stuff, bro. And almost ran into an electrical generator, you know. And it was nothing we could do about it. I believe it was a divine intervention. But, you know, as far as, uh, as far as, you know, crazy, you know, I mean, 
some broad, you know, I watched abroad, you know, no, I hadn't saw any of that, man. I had not saw any of that. <laughs> I, I I had I had had you know the I hadn't had the experience of something perversive or anything like that, man. I haven't, you know, shit. My my brain, I mean, I be locked in. I be locked in, and sometimes, man, I can come across wrong to people. Be like, God damn, man. I mean, he spitting like he want to fight. Like, no, nah, man. I mean, that's just my passion. It's my passion. That's what's that. You know, do you have any regrets and mistakes? Since you've been rapping? Yeah, I do. I mean, some, some of the projects are rushed, you know? I mean, but I use everything that uh, that don't turn out right as a stomatical sheet, a blueprint, you know, of what not to do, where to learn. You know, I, I learn from my mistakes, you know, constantly, you know, rewriting uh, the, the, the code, you know, so. Yeah, there's some things. I rushed some projects and stuff that, you know, could have been fire. But uh, it kind of seemed like time was not of the essence, you know, when I had so much shit going on and didn't really give it the attention it deserved. You know, it's there now, and it's forever. And can't do nothing but learn from it. That's what's that. Do you think the city is more unified now, or we just paid lacking of it? And is, or is it still hard to... Make it out of this, like the Amarillo. It depends. It depends on who you know. Because if you're depending on solely the people here in the city, um, shit. If you was holding your breath, you about to pass out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. If you got, if you got some peers that you were cool with, you know, all throughout, you know, your time, you know, and I mean. You bring your own crowd and stuff, that brings in more crowds. And that crowd brings in more crowds and then, you know, the word of mouth thing. If you got it like that, then, you know, it's beautiful, you know. But for other cats, you know, some, some like myself, you know, because of my background of how I've handled people in the past and because of the things that I've done, you know, it tend to, you know, push people away, which is fine and stuff, you know. Um, but at the same time, um, I've talked, when I came on, I was talking that unified shit and doing shows with cats and they was talking that unified shit. And my homeboy told me when I was asking him, how come you cats don't never get together even before I start doing it? Why don't you cats ever get together? And so he told me it was a clashing of egos. He had been doing it for like 15, 20 years before I, you know, 15 years or so before I got on. And I never could understand how come there was talent in, in Amarillo, but cats wasn't coming up out of here to, you know, let the world know. Well, what it was was the truth was shown to me as I got involved that um, envy, you know. I mean, I come in kind of green thinking I can pull some of this shit together because I'm OG. And I can pull some of these homeboys together, and I can pull some of those homeboys together, and shit, then we got an Amarillo thing, well then we start networking with the cats in the other, other surrounding uh, little cities and stuff, and then now we got an 806 thing going on, like, you know, they do in the metropolis cities and stuff, you know, where rappers come together to represent their city and stuff, or they area code, or whatever. But I, what, I've, what I've saw here is people double talk. You know, in your face they'll say that, you know, with them giddy, silly ass looks and smiles on their face when they line, you know, about um, the collaboration thing. And I'm not just about me. I'm talking about with him, him, and him. Why don't y'all get y'all asses together, man? You know, but it's just like every, too many cats want to be the man. They want to be the man and they self-centered, you know, and... Um, you know, that ain't never been my thing and stuff. I never wanted to, you know, be an OG came with what I did. It ain't like I was out on the hunt to be OG. It just came with what I was doing, man. That's what's up. Do you have any advice for, for any rapper or for anybody? Like, um, when you say advice, what do you mean? Like, like, like new rappers trying to get into the rap game. And I mean, if they if they already like I said, you know, having having a, a base of peers that you know really dig you and 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 back you up and follow you, I mean, you know, um, that's a good thing to have when you have people to support you, 
you know, you want to focus on being approachable um, for sure. You know, unless it's a lot of people that, you know, just really, you know, dig that dig what you're saying naturally. You know, and from what I understand, um, one of my friends was telling me that, you know, it's not even about what you're saying nowadays. It's more like how that beat is. And, you know, you can say anything as long as it sounds like it's going along with the cadence of the beat, then you're fine. So, you know, cats are able to get away with things, you know, nowadays and stuff. You know, I, just, I would just say, you know, don't be hurt. You know, uh, don't uh, be disappointed if things don't line up uh, initially like how you want to, but stay persistent about it because, you know, um, you know, time is on your side, especially if you're young. You know, you have the time to make mistakes and learn from them and get experience to be seasoned and stuff, you know. It doesn't happen overnight for not nobody and stuff. It took knowing either the right people or being dedicated to the craft. That's it. That's what's up. If you gotta do any song, or you, if you gotta do a song with anybody, dead or alive, who would it be? Dead or alive? Um, man, I dig, um, um, man, it's just like hard for me to pick because it's like a whole bunch of cats in my head that, but you know, I've always, um, I've always done cats like, you know, face, you know, because I can relate to what he was talking about. Or even, you know, like I say, um, one of Cola's lyricists that don't get enough props to me is like K, K Reno. Um, that cat is a metaphor monster, you know? And, um, you know, I mean, I don't like to talk about, you know, my money and shit all the time, you know? I mean, I got money and shit, but that's not helping everybody else. It's not telling everybody else, you know, the story that they need to hear. But uh, yeah, man, some, some, somewhere along them lines and stuff, man. Uh, a lot of cats saying they didn't know Pac, and you know, I mean, the newer generation, man. I would like done some Pac too, man. You know, Pimp C, man. I like Chad, um, Bernard. I like them cats. I always have since they first album. You know, my lifestyle, what I'm used to. I grew up around gamblers, pimps, dope dealers, you know. I grew up in, in gambling shacks and shit like that. So, yeah, man, you know, that's what I'm, that's what's common to me. I was raised around older people, the elders, you know. So I never could relate to people my age. But I tell people to just stay, stay consistent. I haven't been as consistent as I could have been. That's what's up. You got any new music or projects dropping soon? Yeah, man. Um, ramifications. We just dropped. Uh, we uh, we went and knocked that out, man, and got another one called Rise Up. It's pretty much inspirational. The last album was like just an introduction, you know, of okay, yeah, man. Uh, you know, I done this. I do this. You know, this is what I know. This is it. You know, on this new one is, uh, you know. Uh, I'm just trying to, you know, give people some motivation and, you know, I'm still saying, you know, don't fuck with me, you know, don't, don't fuck with me like that, man, you know, but um, at the same time, man, I want peace, but I wanted peace, I've wanted peace before and retired and sit my ass on the porch and, hell, that cost me 40 some odd stitches and stuff when I wasn't even involved in the shit, so, you know. It's like, oh man, just because you decide that you want to be cool don't mean the rest of these cats ready to be cool. So, you know, just keep your head on swivel and uh, stay sucker free. That's what's up. Where, where could people find your music? Um, find me on um, YouTube. Um, um, I got some things on Instagram. Um, you know, I had thrown some shit on, um, they can find some of the shit on like Skrilla TV, um, Prime Optic, Third Coast Channel. Um, yeah, just Google my name, you know? And, you know, shit. Um, the majority of the shit that's been put out, you know, it should pop, uh, pop up. I'm moving some shit around so that then, you know, I can professionalize it. You know, um, but uh, yeah, man, that's what it is, man. I got these projects, man. We working on, and like I'm saying, I'm bringing um, some, um, bringing some other talent, man, 
and I'm not just trying to do bring. Uh, we'll talk about that. We'll talk about that in the future. God bless. That's what's up. Yeah, anything that you want to help anybody watching? Mm. No, we. Uh, no, I'm pretty much um, covered covered the grounds, you know, of uh, what I'm trying to do, what I'm looking at, and. You know, uh, what I would like to happen, you know, like I said, man, I just tell the new cats, uh, watch how you move whenever you come out and stuff and um, be true, be true to, be true to yourself, be true to yourself, man. I mean, there's people out there that, you know, still appreciate and respect that right there. That's, you know, that's it. Oh, finish the finish sentence on this one. You, you could call me anything, but... Uh, a quitter, man. I mean, shit. I mean, I could say something else, man. I could say I could say a horde of other things, man. But I'm just like, shit. I've never known surrender. I've never surrendered. So you know, that would stand out. You can say, you know, you call me, but the ussy, you know, I ain't no, you know. So yeah, man. So, so, when people mention me, they say, "OG." That's what's up. That, that covers the interview, Mr. C Rock. We appreciate you having us here. I appreciate y'all coming, fellas. I appreciate y'all coming, man. Um, I'm honored. I'm straight from the north side, the streets approved TV, the mayor. Yeah, I appreciate you too, bro. Yeah, yeah, these cats is doing their thing and stuff. Get up on it. We out.